Hi, I am Rick Olson with the Prairie Lake, Minnesota Rotary Club. And today we're going to be talking about increasing uh, access to water in refugee settlements in Uganda. Okay, I first became aware of the Uganda refugee settlements because of the Roseville Rotary Club that's near us that sponsored the first Rotaract Club in any refugee settlement in the, in the world, in Nakabeli Refugee Settlement. The community members there actually manufactured the bricks and built the three classroom building and founded the Best Future School. And this is where we started in February of 2020. And we've been supporting Best Future School and other refugees in Nakavelli uh, since that time. Now, Uganda has a lot of refugees, 1.4 million. It's one of the big countries in the world in regards to how many refugees that it has. In there. It's a very welcoming country for refugees from the surrounding countries. Now, Nakavelli is south of Kampala, the capital here. Uh, it's a old, very old refugee settlement. Um, the conditions for many refugees in the Naka Valley and others, including Chakatu, which we'll be talking about later, uh, the conditions are very grim. Poor water when they can get it, very poor sanitation conditions, and a shortage of food. Most are heavily, if not totally reliant upon the aid of the UN. For example, for food, uh, if, they, if you get there before 2014, then they get 24 pounds of corn and four pounds of beans per person per month. Obviously not a very good diet. However, if you got there after 2014, then you got a different situation. You get less than $6 per person per month for food, clothing, housing, medical needs, and so forth. To put that $6 in perspective, the World Bank defines extreme poverty as living on less than $1.90 per day about $53 per month. Well, there are tens of thousands in Naka Valley alone that are living on less than $6 per person per month. So this is obviously extreme, extreme poverty, not only in Naka Valley, but also others. Now, uh, our Prior Lake Rotary Club has helped fund the project of building the school kitchen at Best Future School. And we've sponsored two Rotary found, uh, global grants uh, one aimed at education support at Best Future School, and the other a water project in, in Naka Valley. Um, but uh, the current project we're talking about now is at Chaka 2, which is another refugee settlement north of Naka Valley here. Uh, the picture of, of Chaka 2 has, gets a little bit more rainfall than at Naka Valley. It's a little greener. Uh, it's got 125,000 refugees. Um, biggest source of water there is springs. Uh, got a lot of water points, 151 water points and 62 boreholes. Um, now, when we're talking about water points, we're talking about a, a situation like this, where people bring their five-gallon jerry can to get filled with water, and then they carry it home. Some people make their living um, being a water carrier, like this man here, uh, carrying it on his bicycle. Very, very common sight. But a more common sight is this, uh, a young girl, carrying water. That is the girl's role in life for in Naka Valley, other refugee settlements, and in Uganda, period, uh, which is very bad because they're not going to school and they're very subject to sexual abuse and rape. Not a good situation. Um, they're also collecting water from whatever source they can of whatever quality and quantity uh, that they, they, they can. Now, Sakatu has lots of water points, but the quantity of safe drinking water is the issue. Uh, you can see this creek here. Um, it's, it's got water, but it's heavily, heavily polluted. For safe drinking water, they only on average get about 12 liters per person per day of safe drinking water. That's comparable to you flushing your toilet twice per day. Now, the project we're talking about is it actually supplies 17 to 20 percent the total supply for Chaka 2. Um, and, and this project would, would take, uh, where they take water from this water point, uh, or water source, uh, put it in these two settling tanks, and that would be, the, would be to add one more of these 70,000 liter settling tanks. The water is then uh, pumped up to the top of this hill, where there currently is a 100,000 liter tank. Uh, the project would add an additional uh, tank up here, would actually double the water supply, fresh, safe drinking water uh, from this point. 
Now, uh, this project is actually sponsored by the Kampala South Rotary Club. Uh, and, and the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees has actually requested this project be done, working through its implementing partner, Oxfam. Now, I've committed to raise 30 to 40,000 for this project. And the purpose of this film uh, is to ask you to, to please support this project and to donate whatever you can to the, for the Rotary Foundation grant that the South Kampala Rotary Club is sponsoring. Thank you very much. Hope to hear from you.